So howdy guys, another quick one for you. Showed you what we got tomorrow. I can't I can't really wait to show you guys. So 120 for what you're thinking senior. This is out of a first gen Dodge, do 108 and a quarter. I bought this one off the same with the guy for the ring gear. And these are both eight and a quarters. That has a good ring gear. This one has sat at the bottom of the ocean for a kajillion years, as you guys can see. But 80 bucks for this one, 40 for this one. So that was a good deal. I mean, this one needs, as you guys can see, it's gonna need it's gonna need bushings and stuff. It's gonna need work, it's gonna need cleaned and all that crap. But this is an A-body housing. So, and this will be stronger than that seven and a quarter junk that's in there now. Big bolt pattern, so no more wheel spacers. I'm gonna get this out of here. I'm gonna get it somewhere where I can work on it. Um, if you guys wanna see this thing be built and be put together, let me know in the comments or if you guys want me to do it off camera. But basically, I'm either gonna buy a locker or the, um, I'm either going to buy a posi unit or a locker for this. I'm not sure yet. A posi unit, it's like 300 bucks. A locker, probably 50. I don't know which one would be better for street strip use, you guys. Let me know in the comments. And do you guys know if they make bigger splines, splined axles for these? If so, I'd like to upgrade while we're here. I'm going to drag this out a little bit and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to see you guys down for a minute. So when I tell you guys this thing's been probably sent to the bottom of an ocean, I am not joking you in the least bit. So, which I knew. He told me it was a core. And I bought it anyways because for the price he was asking, even if I have to sandblast this whole fucking thing on the inside and out, it's still worth it, which I probably will have to. I mean, you guys see how rotted it is, rusty it is. And I'd like to clean it up before I put it in the car anyways. But... This came out of like a, I think a 72 scamp duster, something like that he said. I can't remember what he said. I think it was a duster. But, but that being said, it's a lot beefier than a seven and a quarter. And then the seven and a quarter out of the dart will go in Project Gramps because it's got all brand new brakes. It's got all brand new brakes. It's been, it's got like, I can't remember the exact gears, 355, something like that. It's got, it doesn't have like street, like big gears. And I have to crawl underneath it. It's got a tag on it. I'll go back in the video. You guys can go back in the video to when I was uh, fucking with it last time and see it. But what do you guys think? Was it worth the money or did I get fucked? Let me know in the comments. That housing will actually be probably for sale with axles because I think mine's got the bigger end in it than the eight and a quarter. I'm not quite sure on that. But if it don't have an eight and a quarter in it, I'm not going to keep this housing. So it'll be for sale. And I'll tell you what. For the housing, if you guys just want the housing, like to cut down for like an A-body, I would take probably, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks for it with the axles. To keep in mind, the center section is going to be gone. He did give me the center section, though, out of, out of this. I'm, I'm assuming it's this. Walk over here. So it's, it was open. So that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Did I get screwed? Did I get a good deal? I feel like I got a good deal. Um, I know what these go for. Complete and in really good condition. So, and they're kind of hard to find, especially for an A-body. So, let me know what you guys think in the, in the thing. I think I scored, but if there's Mopar experts out there that'll let me know if it was a good price for 80 bucks or if you saw me coming. And here's the housing. Um, the other side needs new studs, which I might press out of these, these axles. But yeah, ran for the dart. Beefier, eight and a quarter. One more thing, I know I always say that. Um, if anybody has done these or knows anything about these, how much horsepower am I looking at that can hold up, this thing can hold up to? Like, I've heard some people say 400 horse, but I feel like that's giving it some. But I don't know a lot about these rear ends. I know that these are stronger than the seven and a quarter. And so yeah, score winning yeah